Okay, well he is sort of close to being the finished product. I've used a, a lot of builder's bog to uh, to make a barrier between the uh, the weather um, and the wood. And uh, so all the uh, builder's bog work has been done. So unfortunately I didn't film that. But uh, it's now got two coats of plastic paint on it and uh, I'll put one coat of enamel because uh, you know I don't want to have to do this work later on and uh, just put the floorboards back so uh, that's it for now That's the builder's bog I used. I found the others to be uh, either too old or uh, um, didn't work properly. In my experience, that's, uh, that's the best one to buy. Uh, this sort I found to be maybe uh, too expensive and I'm not sure about how good it is. Uh... On this one here, there was a knot, a wooden knot just here where a branch came out before they sawed it off. And um, I got the rod out and there was a big crevice around here. Um, I bogged that up for uh, stability and I put an extra screw in through here because the, the builder, um, he actually rested this piece of sleeper on this, uh, this uh, post, uh, post cement here and that did rot away. Okay. So I scooped a lot of this uh, rot out from around there. I put a screw in through here for extra support into the post. Okay, and I did uh, I did scoop away any rot here. However, there's not as much um, doesn't have much as much support. So I'm going to put a bracket around on this side. Uh, this side, the same thing where the cement was. Honestly, I can't see what's showing up of that shot there, but uh, there's a fairly robust screw I put in on this side. It's actually like a bugle uh, screw, and the previous, the, the builder did put this, uh, uh, that screw in there. Okay, so you do the best you can do and you, you hope for the best. There is support for this uh, the middle uh, piece of pine here at that area, but the this uh, the side bearers here don't really pick up any support until the front posts here, and there was a lot of rot around these areas here, and um, the back posts are back there, so that's a fair span, and uh, it's important that the front area is uh, supported. The only other thing to point out here is um, uh, this is a better picture of the um, the rot that's uh, developing. You can see here that it's the area behind the, um, the floorboard edge here. Okay, and that's it along there. Okay. So this is the problem with modern day um, using wood to build. Um, you know, you you would really have to pre-paint every single piece, including the the sides and around here. Every time you installed the edge, you'd have to paint it. Um, the middle bearer, you'd have to paint it uh, or pre-paint it before it was installed, and that's not really an option. So we're really looking to people like Elon Musk to um, to come up with a new building materials and design. Otherwise, people for the next 300 years are just going to be continuously repairing rot and that'd be ridiculous okay so at this stage uh, there's been three coats of uh, acrylic paint put on and one top coat of uh, of enamel um, I'm putting the uh, the covers down this will stop moisture and rain getting on the uh, the actual uh, woodwork 
So that's it there. I don't know whether I've shown that yet or not. On either side of it, it uh, drops down a bit. So good weather is very few and far between. I think it's about the 17th or 18th of the uh, the 5th, 2022, and I've been uh, trying to do this work since last year, to end of 2021. But that's uh, that's it there, and I've just got some staples holding it down. Okay, and then I'll put these uh, the rest of them on that. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but uh, I have sprayed it with a type of uh, fungus uh, uh, herbicide to uh, just to make sure that anything under the paints uh, got rid of any uh, mold. This structure is about 15 years old. So there was a fair amount of rot, especially here. So this has only got two coats because I don't want any peeling and I, I didn't want to do any unnecessary work. And I've treated with one coat of acrylic and one coat of uh, enamel all the way up. That's uh, the area there we were looking at before. All of the cross members and this, this uh, through part here was the worst this was the worst spot just here so hopefully you know for the owners uh, 15 years I, I'm doing this work for nothing so yeah, except uh, cost the uprights here are okay except down there where I've had to scoop away a lot of the dirt and make a void there to create some uh, some through airflow um, some of the bottoms of the ballasts underneath were uh, it had mold or rot um, what I did there was I scraped it out with a wire brush and I applied silicon to the underneath parts that were solid on this area here the steps um, I've had to replace these three ballasts. Um, there's one, this one here, and there's a ballast here. And this was a surprise later on that exposed itself, so uh, I replaced that. But yeah, a lot of bog work. Um, there was a lot of rot in between joins uh, here, for instance, uh, a lot of uh, filling work. So yeah, it's mainly um, just the joins between the uh, the handrail and uh, around posts where the posts come in and the water uh, sits around there. It's wherever water can get in. In fact, there's a join here somewhere, and uh, there's actually a uh, an ant's nest in it. So that's all been bogged up. So here's hoping. So one, two, three, four, uh, three rows, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
and then through here 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Here I'm just applying a slurry of sand, that's the sand there, and I've, I've swept it in between the, uh, the pavers. And uh, now I'm just hosing it in and uh, filling up the gaps. <laughs> 